Hey guys, it's Ukarma12, and today I'm gonna. Well, you guys might think it's a spoof, but I just thought I'll just do this for fun. I have some crap, just like Dr. Rations did, and I'm just going to review it. And uh, what I've got is this a magic cube. Cube magic, or something over there. Okay, let's quickly do, get this over with. Made in China down there. Sorry, I've ripped the box accidentally. Well, not accidentally. Okay, I'm not gonna get into that story. Okay, the back has some little description. Most of it is in different language. Well, let's have a look at one that's got in English. Please note this toy is not suitable for children below the age of three. A small pot could be swallowed or inhaled. Well, this could. I would say that even four-year-olds or five-year-olds can't play with this because it'll just hurt your hands. It still hurts mine though as well. For how crap it is. No original Rubik's cube. No, it's not an original Rubik's cube. It's a really crap Rubik's cube. Now this is the box, and this is the. It's a very cheap box. This is the box that I got with my original speed cube. See the difference? Cheap quality. That's quality. That's cheap. Okay. Okay. Now let's open up this thing. And here's the Rubik's cube. And oh my god, it feels so crap. I'm not gonna turn it yet. Just, let's give it a quick look. Dark blue, yellow, white, orange, actually that's red, B blue, yellow, green, and uh, yeah, red. Okay, let's turn it. Oh god. I have to, ow. See, it feels like wood. And when I turn, ow, 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 ow. Okay, I'm going to stop right now. When you turn it, it starts hurting your fingers. You might think that I'm a wuss, but really, I'm not a wuss. You have to be careful what you do with your fingers, because this is can really hurt your fish, your fingers. So, if I wait, you are... Fuck it, doesn't matter. I wouldn't let you, uh, you guys buy it, because you would really feel shit out of this. Okay, so here's that Rubik's Cube, and here's my Rubik's Cube with tiles. Size comparison. Bigger, and that one's smaller. Feels really cheap and light. Feels expensive and heavy. Which is good. Now look, if I give my, a flick of my finger, ow! You can't really uh, turn this, even with your hand, you can't really turn this. But my, this one I've got, uh, this is my original one, fl flicks you with your finger. See that? How good this one is. This one's real cool. This one's real crap, I can't even do this much. It feel, uh, sounds horrible, feels horrible. You don't have the... Uh, you don't even feel like uh, the temptation to even use this thing. It's very light. It's even lighter than a GBA console and a Game Boy Micro, I might say. And uh, it's not quality at all. Like, uh, we had an, uh, another one of this. That's how I know how crap this one is. Because um, we've got two. The one, we dropped uh, We dropped it once. And it broke into pieces. And literally, I mean it broke into pieces. You cannot even stick it back on. Normally... When you break pieces off ones like these, which I have done accidentally, because look, it's gone uh, soft now for how much I've been using it. Normally it sticks back in. This sticks back in. This, for some reason, it just, if it breaks into pieces, it's broken. It's very cheap and light, and I'd say it's very crap. So, this one is really good. Nice quality, and it feels really good when you turn it and all that. This... Well, what can I say? Your hands will just start hurting. Look, I'm already struggling just to do it a little bit. Later on, it will get a bit looser, but you have to go through a lot in order to get it loose. Ow! Just... You've really got a lot of stuff to come, to come down to this one. It really hurts. Even when you feel it, it feels like wood. You feel like you're going you're gonna to get a splinter. That's how crap it is. Okay. Okay, so this one's good. That one's bad. The difference between the colours on the ones I've got, this one's it's got original st colours on it. It's yellow, dark blue, and everything else at the start of the re review. And this one has got pink over here. I did not expect that, but it's still doesn't matter. Okay, green, orange, blue, yellow, green. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. All the colours. So look, it's quality, and that one isn't. What you can also tell is the boxes. Let's move these out of the way. Look at this cheap box it comes in. Look at it. Let's rip this off. Look 
at that, and even look if I stick the Rubik's Cube, this uh, cheap one in, you can see it fits in perfectly, and you can barely even see it in the corner. If I stick my qual nice quality one in, it'll stick out because that shows also that mine's larger and it's longer because I can't even get it in all the way. You can't tell about the camera, there yeah, you can look there. You can't stick it in all the way. So mine's really quality. And look at this box. It's a nice box, feel like an original proper box. When it came first, it looked like a, like, wow, is this really my cube? That's what it looked like. Like here, it says, a high speed, low friction cube for advanced speed cubing. That's exactly right. Professional speed cube. And, uh, somewhere it said, no real cube, or something like that. It meant, uh, not an ordinary cube, it's a real great quality cube, and I agree 100%. Magic cube, cube magic. Now, by the feels of this, you would definitely not say this is appropriate for a four-year-old kid. And it says uh, under. Let's, let's read this thing back for a minute. It says uh, okay, I messed that up a bit. Everything it up. It says choking hazard. Small parts not appropriate for children under three. It's un under three years. So it says under three years when. Uh, this is not even appropriate for a five-year-old, so that means that's letting three-year-olds use this. But just under three, you can't use it as under three. Oh my god, this feels so bad, so crap. Oh, that, this is really, uh, this is really pathetic. Mhm. Mm so I don't exactly know now, right? And now I exactly know what it feels, what cheap feels like from before when I used to try imagining what it feels like holding some crap what Ashens had. I could not exactly picture it properly, but I can picture picture it properly now for how light these feel and stuff. This is tiles. These are stickers. And the stickers peel off very easily. I just haven't used this one yet, so. Yeah. This one, I've had it for some time. We've been having it for some time. Nothing has gone wrong with it. Apart from just a piece came out. But that's normal. And it clicks back in. This, it just breaks after one use. It's not worth it. And uh, should I tell you how much what money how much money I bought it for? Well, we thought it was a real bargain because we thought from the description that it looked like a good cube, but really, it's a cheap one, and we bought it for ninety nine p. Yes, I know ninety nine p, but the description sound like a real cube, like a uh, like original ones, but we're just without the tiles I've got here. Okay, that was it for my review. Or YouTube will allow me to put a longer video in; it'll take longer to upload. Okay, so thanks guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And please check out my other videos. And uh, feel free to ask any questions about any of the Rubik's Cube at the below down there. Okay, thanks guys for watching. Uh, like I said, comment down there. Subscribe to my videos over there. And all that. Okay, thanks guys for watching. And yeah.